Yes, sir. Now, today, yep, we gonna talk about Miss Rosa. Mm-hmm, Miss Rosa, too. Now, I want to take uh, this month that we have been given, right? Uh, they call it Black History Month, right? The month that we are supposed to be celebrating uh, our spoon-fed history, right? So, so we're going to dive in on, on these events and really uncover why they want us to focus on these individuals as our black history. As if our black history does not go farther than these specific individuals. But let's let's peel the curtain back and let's see why these are the people that they want you to look at, right? Now, first, we have to talk about why we have been given such a month uh, called Black History. And let's just dive in on the words that we have been given. See, this is why I don't even want to refer myself as a black person. That's mockery in itself, because when we look at each other, we are a shade of brown. But. Even if we break down the letters in these words, man, black person, black history, we get the number 181 in the English language in reverse. Now, 181 happens to be the 42nd prime number. When we all know that prominence word that's been used our whole history. To control us. Right? To mock us. The N word. Equals 42 as well. And it's written all over our black history. And it's been written over. All of these characters. That they have also given us. Barack Hussein Obama the second. If we take his full fake name that he was given we also get 181 remember this was the first black president and the n-word was lingering over his head as well little did we know this is why they give you these people this is why they hand pick these individuals and give them to you on a silver platter so you eat it up they want you to be full off of these people when all they're here to do is serve agendas and that's it. Civil rights leader. Also equals 181 as well. Once again, the 42nd prime number. So yes, your civil rights leaders as well. As we're going to take the time. Oh yeah, best believe. The highly requested videos are coming this month on these said individuals. Martin, most known in the civil rights movement, his first name that it was changed to. A lot of these people that you're going to see in this history, in, in this Black History Month, this month of February, a lot of these people's names were changed. They were not born with these names. This man was born Michael King, later changed to Martin Luther King. All of these things are happening for a reason, all by the numerology. To create mockery. All they're doing is giving you fake situations. And creating real trauma. Real stress. Real issues. Real division. What do you know? The show. Martin. Where he lived. In apartment. 42. Just to remind you, well, you didn't even know at the time. It it went right it went right over all our heads as a kid, but these are the things that was in front of us the whole time. 
the other character that he played, Shanene, also equal 42 as well. Not to mention that the show took place in Detroit, which is located on the 42nd parallel. Now, let's talk about Rosa Parks, who was born on the 4th of February, 4 slash 2, in the city of Tuskegee, which also equals 42. Let's dive in on her situation now. Let's dive in on how the N-word was rooted in her whole situation as well. Let's talk about how she refused to give up her seat to a white man on the bus when bus equals 42 and white man equals 42 as well. These are interesting coincidences. Now what's so crazy if we take the day that Rosa Parks was born and the day that she refused to give up her seat, she was 42 years and 42 weeks old. Come on, man. Come on, man. These are plants that they're giving you. These are actors acting out their script. These are Boule members, Eastern stars that have agreed to play out these roles to create this trauma in the community. Fake situations, real trauma. Rosa Parks also died in the city of Detroit, which once again is located on the 42nd parallel. So the 42 was written all over her character as well as she died on the 24th, which is the reflection of the number 42. But come on, right? Even breaking down that day once again as she refused to give up her seat on that bus. December 1st, 1955, breaking that down. We get 24 once again, the reflection of 42. And even look at this picture that was captured of Rosa Parks getting on a bus. I don't know if this was the same day that she refused. But for some reason, they just happened to take a picture of this lady. You know, we don't know who she is at this point. But they just happened to take a picture of the front of the bus so you can see the number 24 right in the front hmm interesting right like I said she died she proceeded to pass away on the 24th of October right once again more mockery the days that was left in the year on December 1st that that day it left 30 days remaining where we know that the N-word and slavery equal 30. They also equal 42 as Rosa Parks was 42 years old. So you got that 30 and that 42 written all over this event. Real events don't just sync up like this. This isn't a work of a, a assimilation right here. So what? The simulation is racist. The creator of the simulation got to be a racist then if that's the case. No, not this one. Mm -mm -mm. Not this one right here. No, this was done by men. Sinister men, right? Because if we break down once again that day, December 1st, 1955, we get 87 date numerology. When slavery equals 87. Remember, 87 also equals that 30 and that 42. So this whole situation happened on this specific day for a reason. Now, this also occurred in the state of Alabama on 13 date numerology when Alabama equals 13 in full reduction, right? December 1st. 
12 plus 1 equals 13. And we should have already knew when Barack Obama was seen depicting the same event, when he got the same numerology as Rosa Parks do, he got the same 42. This is what they was really doing. See, they was trying to make it seem like, oh, look at, look at Obama getting tapped into the history. But no, what they was really doing, they was putting him, they was telling you he was the same type of figure. He was the same type of character. But come on. Right? Even Rosa Parks was born in the year 13 in Alabama, which Alabama equals 13. So everything about the, these people are given a fake birthday. They're given a fake name. Once again, her real name was not Rosa Parks. It was Rosa, Rosa Louise McCauley. These people get their name changed all to play the role. Now, Rosa Parks, and this is why, this is why, this is why, this is why it gets changed. Because she passed away 37 weeks after her birthday in Detroit, where Detroit equals 37. And what do you know? Rosa Parks equals 37. Even the person that she clashed with, that she had this tension with, right? That bus driver, James Blake. What's so interesting about his name, his name also syncs up with the Society of Jesus. So once again, they, they numerology is always lingering in the background of these situations. These fake plays. And now we see who's running the plays. This who got the playbook. Right? Rosa refused to give up her seat on a Montgomery, Alabama bus in the year 55. When Rosa equals 55, Montgomery equals 55, and black people equals 55. This was nothing but a race ritual to, to raise the tension in the country to reinforce to the black mind that was watching these type of things because you got to understand our, our, our parents, our grandfathers, our grandmothers was watching this situation and what this did to the human mind back then, especially the black mind, it reinforced the inferiority. Did I say that right? It enforced that the black people were inferior. That's what it did. That's what it did. And people are still carrying that even today. Carrying that same mindset. Mission complete. And it was these type of people that knew this. And they willingly took part in these rituals to do that. All for monetary gain. All for the sisterhood. All for the brotherhood. They been sold us out, people. The Black Boule been sold us out. Now, what's so interesting, right, with that Rosa equaling 55 and Montgomery equals 55, Black people equals 55. Uh... Martin Luther King died when Rosa was 55 years old. All these people are connected. Martin Luther King died when Rosa was 55 years old. All of these characters have a connection. Right? Rosa Parks and Montgomery, that location where she refused to give up her seat on that bus. This is why her name was changed to Rosa Parks. All for the ritual. Martin Luther King. This is when we start seeing his face in history. During the civil rights movement from 1955. This is when he 
This is when he sprouted off the ground until his assassination 13 years later. Funny, right? 13. But come on. Let's dive in a little bit. Just a little bit. Because at the time that Rosa Parks denied giving up her seat, Michael, <laughs> Michael King Jr. was 322 months old. Another skull and bones ritual. I told you all of these people are connected. All of them. Ooh, wait till I get to Martin Luther King, boy. Ooh, we. Ooh, I'm going to tear his ass up. Well, come on. Right? Just like Skull and Bones. Now, uh, once again, if we take Martin Luther King's birthday to the day that Rosa Parks gave up her seat, or excuse me, she refused to give up her seat, right? On December 1st. That was 10 months and 16 days after Martin Luther King's birthday when black person equals 116 and African American equals 116. You see how these numbers, these rituals are all connected to black person, African American, black history, N word, slavery. You see how all these words, all these type of words are connected in these rituals. Why is that? These are the questions we have to ask. Right? Now, once again, the day that she refused was one month and 14 days before Martin Luther King Jr.'s upcoming birthday when history equals 114. And this is, in fact, history we will forever remember these characters we will forever speak about these people when we think about black history so yes indeed it is history 114 and martin luther king jr also equals 114 and once again this event happened one month and 14 days before martin luther king jr's birthday that next year and this event is what brought him to the scene by the numbers. Right now, once again, also, uh, once again, this whole book situation with Rosa Parks. If we take that situation to Martin Luther King's birthday, we have six weeks and three days or just 45 days just like racism equals 63 and 45 what's the odds of that you see all these words that's being connected bro that's all these are is race rituals even the word ritual equals 45 but more importantly if we take Rosa Parks' birthday to the day that Martin Luther King Jr. quote unquote died, we get 60 days just like the N-word. Mm, mm, mm. All of these people are connected. I could have threw Malcolm in here. I could have threw a whole bunch of other people in here. But I'm going to start off light. We just beginning February. So we're going to start off light. And we're going to progress as we go on through this month. Oh, this is going to be a fun time. Oh, no, ain't no dark times when you're on this channel. We bring light to the darkness. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to have some fun with this. But come on. Right? Ooh, we. Okay, this part right here. This where it gets juicy. You hear me? So if we take the day that Martin Luther King Jr. died, on April 4th, 1968, and we take it to Rosa Parks' birthday that next year, we get a span of 306 days. Now, what's interesting about that number 306? That was the room that he got shot in front of. Remember? Remember that famous picture of him being shot 
in front of room 306, that scripted picture, might I add. Right? But we're going to touch on that on the Martin Luther King breakdown. Right? But come on, man. MLK and balcony. He was on the balcony. There you go, right there. Leg still propped up. Still got the use of his muscles. He like he finna do some sit-ups or some crunches. But we got 36, right? MLK equals 36. Balcony equals 36. He gets shot in front of room 306. 306 days before Rosa Parks' upcoming birthday. But that's not all, folks. Even the rifle that he got shot with, a Remington 3006 hunting rifle. That was the gun he got shot with, right? We can even connect this to Young Dolph. All of these things, we're going to, our kids, kids, this going to be our new black history. All these mockery rituals from the old to the new. We take Young Dolph, who also was killed in Memphis, right? Just like Martin Luther King was, right? Young Dolph died 306 days after Martin Luther King Day. At the age of 36. And he also died on Lord Infamous' birthday from 3-6 Mafia. When we know that Memphis is on the 36th parallel. Man, come on, man. These ain't nothing but rituals. These ain't nothing but people getting taken up out of here in an orderly fashion. These folks getting took up out of here in an orderly fashion. In unison. They say it was a nigga that looked just like Young Dolph marching with Martin Luther King. Man, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. But that's all we got for the Rosa Parks breakdown, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that one. Because it's going to get better. It's going to get better as we progress through this month. Like I said, we're going to have some fun this month. Right? Because there's some things that need to come to light. Because we can't we can't keep uh, just accepting this mockery that's getting thrown at us every single year, every, every, every month of February. But... That's all we got for this video, man. Appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the support. And I'm out.